everything that we know about life in the United States for the last 234 years, that's all in the Constitution. Franklin said, we have a republic if you can keep it. Well, the only reason we've been able to keep it is because of the Constitution. This November, Sotheby's is selling first printing of the Constitution of the United States. It's just a fantastically important and influential document, not just in American history, but in world history. A constitutional convention was called to meet in Philadelphia in May of 1787. They met for four months, and this is the Constitution that came out of that. This was printed probably in an edition of 500 copies. Only 11 are known to survive, and this is one of two that is privately owned. This version was printed probably on the night of September 16th. It was set in print by John Dunlap and David Claypool, two Philadelphia printers. And interestingly enough, 11 years previously, John Dunlap was the printer of the first printing of the Declaration of Independence. So he is sort of the link between these two great pillars of the American government and our American way of life. This would have been printed by hand with the letters set. It was a very labor-intensive uh, process, but it's remarkable how well done it, it is. So the full printing is six pages long. The first four and a quarter pages are the Constitution. The other page and three quarters, there's a roster of the delegates who voted for the Constitution. There is their resolution accepting the Constitution. And then the final page is a copy of George Washington's letter sending this Constitution to the Continental Congress to in turn send to the states for consideration and ratification with their endorsement that this is the Constitution we think best. The exciting thing really about this Constitution is its primacy, and that's what attracts all book and manuscript collectors and people who are interested in printing. And so to think that we have the opportunity now to hold a copy of the Constitution that was intended for the delegates for someone like James Madison or Alexander Hamilton or Benjamin Franklin or Washington. It really puts you back into history coming from that time and it's being a, a primary document in a way that reading the text online or in a textbook really can't do. Even though the nation was much smaller than it is today, there was still a lot of people. There was no way to distribute a document of this size. This had to be printed via the Continental Congress. And this is what people in New York, people in Pennsylvania, Virginia, Rhode Island, Delaware, read when they called their own conventions within their state to say, let's debate this. Do we want to sign up for this or not? So without this printing, we wouldn't have had a a nation.